guys, happy Friday, even though it's Thursday because Friday I'm actually gonna be spending the whole day building a set for the Doctor Who parody, woo! Like Steph said on Monday, she and I are gonna be at Sabacon this weekend, or she'll be there the whole weekend. I'm only gonna be there on Saturday. But if anyone is coming to Sabacon in Las Vegas, please find us and say hello. It's always fun. Lilico, happy birthday! I wish I could hug you in person, but I can't. Fanime! And Mario, it is too late. I've been compromised and already sucked into the Stucky Winter Soldier Madness. Steph and Luluko kind of sucked me into their cosplay plans for Fanime, and suddenly I'm doing Black Widow. I don't really have the time to dedicate to her epic spandexy suit, sadly, because I'm gonna be spending most of my time on my League of Legends cosplay, but I decided to throw together her mall disguise outfit that she does in Winter Soldier with the striped hoodie and stuff. I already have the weird platformy tennis shoe things, but yeah, that's happening. Save yourself! And I love seeing and hearing everyone's thoughts in the discussion in my last video. I didn't know a Cage series was in the works, so that's awesome. Someone in the comments and Mario mentioned Cyborg, who I had completely spaced on, because I remember when he showed up in the show Smallville, and I was super excited because I love Cyborg, and he was awesome, but he was barely in the show. I think he was only in like three episodes total or something like that. Also, I had a hard time seeing anything beyond Famous Jet Jackson, because that's what I originally knew the actor as, like he was Jet Jackson, but still, it was, it was awesome to get a bit of Cyborg at all. So yeah, general consensus was that more diverse superheroes would be awesome and <laughs> that DC needs to get their movie shit together. And in geek news for this week, Robert Downey Jr. is finally on Twitter! And Mark Ruffalo tweeted a picture of the science bros, cause he's awesome. But yeah, Robert Downey Jr. is on Twitter and I can only see that as being hilarious and entertaining. And because he apparently never sleeps or rests and is probably a robot, Joss Whedon wrote and produced another movie in between being in charge of Marvel and writing and directing Age of Ultron and like the five billion other things he seems to have going on. It's called In Your Eyes and the teaser is on Vimeo, I'll put a link below, and you can also rent the whole movie through Vimeo on the same link. I'm not really entirely sure what the whole premise is, I'll rent it as soon as I have time to actually watch it, but the teaser little clip thing was basically this boy seeing through another girl's eyes as a traumatic event happened and it just based on that it kind of seems interesting the acting doesn't seem great but it was focused around the kids but i don't know i'm obviously gonna watch it because whedon wrote it and on sort of a side topic related to whedon sort of james marsters is involved in a film project that is attempting to get some Kickstarter funding just to finish itself off. It's a movie called Dragon Warriors, and basically they filmed the whole thing in front of a green screen. They've already filmed everything. James Marsters is like the evil character, but they're trying to get like the last bit of funding to just finish off the effects and everything since the whole thing was filmed at a green screen room so that they could get the cool backgrounds and settings and everything. The movie looks weird and kind of bad, but hilarious. Like it's bad on purpose, sort of. It's not like terrible, but I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's hilarious in a way that I'm kind of really excited to see it. And I think they compared it like a cross between Lord of the Rings and Princess Bride with like a throwback to the feelings of the old 80s classics fantasy movies that they used to watch. But I'll put a link to that below because it does kind of look hilarious, even if it might be kind of cheesy and bad. Plus, I just freaking love James Marsters. That's all I really have for this week. Sorry, it's probably a bit shorter than usual, but life's been a bit hectic with Doctor Who parody finally in action. Hope everyone has an awesome week and stay geeky, and we will see you next week and possibly at Sabacon if anyone is going. Bye! Like Steph said on Monday, we'll get... Like Steph said on Monday, she and I are gonna... Oh my god, words!